April the 16th was a sunny Sunday and the VSEC opened their race calendar with a meeting at Cadwell Park and what a wonderful meeting it was. It really took me back to when I started racing, um, which was with the VSEC and the lovely sort of club atmosphere that we sometimes miss when we go to the bigger meetings. Here we see Chris Mann fettling his beautiful Alpha uh, 1924 car. And here, uh, Bugatti 37A of uh, Chris Townsend. Um, notice the wire wheels there, not the uh, usual uh, Bugatti wheels. As you notice, the um, everybody's sort of working on their own cars here. You have far less of the big uh, race prep guys uh, turning up. Um, and quite refreshing to see two wonderful Coopers here, uh, T51 and T53. Uh, they're probably the youngest cars at the VSEC meeting and uh, no doubt racing in the pre-66 uh, racing will be up at the front. Here we're going to the other extreme, um, Park GN, powered by a 6.2 litre de Havilland uh, Cirrus engine. And here is a favourite of my father's, the uh, 1957 Curtis Indianapolis Roadster. And that's a big car to be uh, driving around a circuit such as this. This is obviously a Morgan three-wheeler, which is perhaps far more agile and uh, appropriate for the circuit. And this is the first race, which um, is the uh, Melville and Gagan uh, trophies race, a wonderful collection of cars, particularly this uh, uh, Riley Brooklands, which you see there, um, a number 52. Um, that was a car that we sold years ago to Nigel Dowding, and he's really got it going quickly these days and uh, doing a lot of events, and it's great to see the car out there. Another car of note in this uh, pack is Max Salby, which is just sort of coming into shots here in his Talbot Largo T23. Uh, only the second time he's driven this car, he told me he drove it for the first time at Goodwood members meeting and did very well. Um, that's the ex-rigid black car and a lovely looking thing. The uh, Dowding Riley Brooklyn's again, smoking a bit there. Um, and uh, another Largo Talbot going through. And Chris Mann in his Alpha Targa Florio car. Here, um, a Lagonda, um, very large car to be uh, chucking around Cadwell in his twists and turns, and Max yet again. I would certainly like a drive in that car, that's for sure. Um, uh, but great, you can get so close to the uh, track itself. Um, and uh, Morgan Three Wheelers and uh, some of the um, smaller capacity cars there. Um, but yes, uh, Cadwell looking glorious in the sunshine. And now I think this is in the under 30s race, which is a great idea the VSEC are doing for uh, drivers who are under 30 to keep the um, young people still uh, interested in racing. That was the MGQ type, which was parked up at the uh, side there um, of Jack Bond, probably worried what his father's gonna say when he gets it back to the paddock. Um, but a lot of very exciting driving going on uh, with these younger guys and girls. and the ever-present Morgan three-wheelers doing very well and uh, somebody just losing it there on that tight corner out of sight of the marshals, which um, can cause a few problems. Oh, and here is the lovely outer single-seater of Ian Baxter, supercharged 1937, um, a wonderful car to see out and about. Um, only competes really in the VSEC with it, doesn't do the HGPCA. And uh, I can understand that because there's a lot of fast guys out in the HGPCA and it's a different sort of type of racing. Here we see it in slow-mo, beautifully presented in that green. And uh, it was sounding um, very crisp indeed. Ian Baxter, um, old campaigner with the VSEC, father of James Baxter, who was also at the meeting, which I think we're going to probably see later on, uh, driving the ERA Riley. Um, but that is a great car. Here we'd see coming in behind him there, it's um, uh, Patrick Blakeney Edwards. Seems to be everywhere, driving multiple cars here in a Fraser Nash. Um, 
actually keeping it very neat and tidy for uh, Fraser Nash around that corner. Usually it's uh, at a sideways angle. Um, obviously very competitive. Number 29, um, one of the back markers, but uh, again, a beautifully presented car. I think that's an MG. Um, and uh, I think this illustrates really, um, you have fast guys with the VSEC and you have amateurs who are just out for a, a great day with their cars and you can be as competitive as you want to be and you get respect from the fast guys at the front if you're at the back and vice versa. That Austin 7 Special, which is in yellow there, was very quick. Um, I think the driver came all the way over from Europe uh, and he had a great day's racing. Sad sight to see. Uh, that's James Baxter's uh, Riley ERA, which is a very quick car. He stalled it on the front row, but then trying to get back, um, lost a front wheel. But here we are with the pre-66 Grand Prix cars. As we thought, those Coopers up front and just going through there, you can see that young Baxter got the wheel back on in front of his dad there in the outer, and then the ERA of topless um, behind. Great array of cars. Morgan Three Wheeler again. Cooper going through number nine in the lead there, um, which belongs to uh, that's Charlie Martin. Uh, and Justin Mears is in the Type 51 behind and uh, the Nick Topless ERA. T41 Cooper there, the smaller engine Cooper being chased by the Fraser Nash. The smaller Coopers are great again for um, an easy car to look after and. Um, eligible for loads of stuff but here we go slow-mo of the uh, two coopers that uh, don't they look beautiful there the contrasting one red and the the green great fun to drive a car like that around cadwell um and great to have um another car similar to it so you can have a bit of a dice wonderful stuff One of the Morleys in uh, always driving Bentleys, of course. And uh, again, the uh, number nine, Charlie Martin, who went on to win the race in the T53. Of course, several generations of Morleys have been driving Bentleys. And that was it as uh, Dusk descended on the paddock there. What a wonderful day. Just a short montage of the races. And hopefully we'll be back with the VSCC later on in the season. <laughs>